This is Elimination Night. As ever, thank you so much for all your SMSs with comments about our contestants. Do please keep them coming. We'll be going through them a little bit later on in the show with our judge tonight, Mike Atak, Managing Director and Founder of Atak International. Right now, though, we are going to meet our second contestant this evening. It's a real pleasure to have in the studio, back in the studio, Vala Satara of Net Insure. And Net Insure, let me tell you, is an insurance company. It is an online platform for insurance and financial services comparing key benefits and prices online. Vala Satara, you have three minutes, first of all, to sell your proposition to Mike Atek. Your three minutes begins when Mike asks the first question, starting now. Vala, tell me, what is it that differentiates your product or service from your competition? Okay, what we have done, we have built a quite unique online platform which allows you as a user to go on it and get key benefits and prices from different competing products, insurance products, compared in less than one minute. So you can buy the, the product that you like then online. So what makes it unique? The uniqueness is that you get an instant answer, an instant quote from competing insurance providers as opposed to one that you can usually get on the, in the market. Okay, yeah. so when I look at that as a, as a user, what does that tell me? What does that competing quote give me that's going to really attract me? What, it, what is the most attractive feature about this? It really saves you time to get an understanding what is the true market value to buy, for example, a home insurance or a car insurance. So it saves you a lot of time and you can buy the best deal that suits your your interest rather than going through a broker who may be seduced by the commission he gets or who is maybe only familiar with a few products as he's familiar with. It may not be the right product for you. So how many products do you have in your product range? Uh, we, we are starting with personal line uh, products like car insurance, home insurance, travel insurance and health insurance and we're going to add more and more products. Good. How many companies do you deal with? Uh, we're dealing at the moment with around 10 companies and we're adding more and more. Good. So tell me about somebody that uh, wasn't your customer. They are your customer today. And tell me about the journey they went through with you. Um, so what we, uh, what we had, a typical customer experience is they're trying to get a quote, for example, for travel insurance. Give me an example. Yeah. Tell me about a specific example. Okay, that, that specific person was trying to get an, a quote. And when, when was this? That was during the weekend. Right. And so this person was then a Google and it came to our website and uh, that person tried to get a quote online and it could get one minute from, from us. It got the quote from us. It saw the key benefits and the prices side by side. And our system also prompted him to take out the health or the medical component of travel insurance. We saved him another 20 percent. So not only did he find the best product, he also was able to save another 20 percent because we educated him that he can actually change a few components. So if I was to become your customer, what's the one thing that I'm going to be thinking, which is the big what's in it for me factor? Um, save time, save money and get the best deal in one minute. Good work. Well done. Vala Satara, that's the end of your first round. Your second round starts now. Giving one company the big break they need. With thanks to Dubai Airport Free Zone, only on Dubai Eye 103.8. Vala Satara of Net Insure, you've just been handed the random object from around the Dubai Eye office that you've got to sell to Mike Atak. And just to clarify, uh, when our previous contestant was on, Vala and our next contestant, they were in the green room, no sound at all. They weren't listening to what their previous contestants have said. So this is brand new to them. They are going at this cold. So listen, Vala, you've got three minutes starting now from Mike's first question to sell him the random object that we picked up around the office today. Tell me, Vala, what's that object you're holding in your hand? This is called a stress ball. It's nice and fluffy. And what does it do? What it, do, what it does, you can hold this ball in your hand, and when you want to squeeze it, it actually gives in a little bit. So let's say you are stressed or you want to release some energy or tension in your body because you had a stressful conversation with your wife or you had a stressful meeting. So you take this ball and you squeeze it and you release the tension in your body and you feel so relaxed and calm. Have you used one of these? Yeah, I have one in my own office. I usually throw them against my neighbor, but I also sometimes squeeze it. 
So tell me about a time that you've used it and it's really helped you. Um, I was working on a, on a document. It was really, really frustrating to finish it and it was overnight. So I got the ball and I just hit it so fast against the, the window and it came back to me and I felt really good. So what would you think would be something that we'd get from using such an object in our business or personal life? I think what it really does is when you use the stress ball, if the stress ball, you have that stress ball always on your table and you always feel that there's tension in your body, you just get it and you squeeze it or you just smash it against the next window. So finally, mm. big takeaway from me using a stress ball would be? Relax. Good work, well done. Well, that's the end of the second round. That's the end of the sales round. The final round starts now. Whittling them down. Tonight, contestants go head-to-head -head in their quest for the big break. Only on Dubai Eye 103.8. Now it is the Business General Knowledge Quiz and just to reiterate, Valor hasn't heard these questions before. He was in the green room when our previous contestant answered them. So Valor, the first question is this, first of five. Who or what was the world's highest earning celebrity or celebrity act in 2011, according to Forbes magazine? Multiple choice. Was it Lady Gaga, U2, Oprah Winfrey, Bon Jovi, Leonardo DiCaprio? Which one of those was the highest earning celebrity or celebrity act? last year Oprah. Oprah Winfrey correct answer 290 million dollars question two who am I I began my career in the UAE in 1981 as a computer programmer for a small company called Datamation just after graduating from university in the United States I then held senior positions at Dubai Ports Authority before launching as chief executive an online procurement firm called Tajari following this success in 2004 I became the first woman in the UAE to hold a ministerial post in the government as Minister for Economy. I'm currently the UAE Minister for Foreign Trade. Who am I? I have to pass, sorry. It is Sheikha Lubna al Qasimi, Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna al Qasimi. Question three. Now, Apple is one of the world's biggest companies, as we know. Indeed, Apple's turnover is bigger than the economy of many countries. Apple's revenue in 2010 was 108 billion US dollars. So here's the question. If Apple were a country, where would it rank out of 190 countries? And just to be specific, if you want the geeky stuff, what we're comparing is Apple's 2010 total revenue against the 2010 GDP ranking by country, according to the World Bank data. So we're comparing Apple's revenue with countries' nominal GDP. That's the geeky stuff. If Apple were a country, where would it rank out of 190 countries in the world? And I'm going to give you three options. 55th. 105th or 155th? 55th is the closest. So no, number one is the highest, right? So the, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. 55th. 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 That's the correct answer. Well done. Okay. Now, who is the richest Indian businessman or woman in the Gulf, according to the 2011 Arabian Business Indian Rich List? And I'm going to give you three options. Is it Mickey Jaitiani of Landmark Group, Yusuf Ali of MK Group, uh, otherwise known as Lulu Supermarkets, or the uh, Chabria family, famous for the Jumbo Electronics brand? This is the Arabian Business 2011 Indian Rich List, the richest Indians in the Gulf. Which one of those three is top of that list? Can you repeat the the first one? Yeah, it's uh, Mickey Jagtiani, Yusuf Ali, or the Chabria family. The first one from the Lentmark group. Tell me the name. Yep. Uh, yeah, Mickey Jagtiani. Yeah, 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 Mickey Jagtiani. That's the correct answer. Well done. Finally, two part question. Which company operates the Burj Al Arab and Emirates Towers hotels in Dubai? Jamira. That's correct. And the second part of the group, that's half a mark. For the for the other half mark, who's the chief executive of this company? No shortlist, just give me the name. Sheikh Mohammed. No, it's Gerald Lawless. Tim was keeping score for that round to how many points? Three and a half. Three and a half points. Vala Satara is going to now sit in the green room while our final contestant this evening joins us in the studio in just a couple of moments' time. That's coming up after a quick recap of today's big headlines.